Alabama will receive and a kind of a changeup in terms of returning kickoffs for Alabama today. Jason McCadley, Triandis Luke. All right, Triandis Luke will be back there to return the kick, and it is Luke. And that decision helps Alabama start with field, good field position. And Fred was an All-American. Hard to replace that. Banks trying to do his part. That pass is caught by Antonio Carter. And that is a first down for the Crimson Tide. So Lane Bearden steps in. Averaging just under 40 yards per punt. Corey Banks calls for a fair catch and lets it bounce. And that's not good news because Alabama will down it on the one-yard line. Jared Cook out of Columbus, Georgia will kick it away to Antonio Carter. Another flag is down, and here is A.C. Another flag down at the 42. A couple of flags. He can come up and actually get down in a four-point stance or a three-point stance. Galloway dodges one Bulldog defender. Watts rolling, firing. Overthrew his receiver, Carter. Thought he might have been pushed in the back, and Watts is slow to get up. Boy, Watts is, uh, you know, we've talked about him avoiding the injuries. He's awfully slow getting up. Look at him. Miles away! And he pulls it wide to the left. Thomas missed from 57 earlier this year. First start last week for an injured Kendall Moorhead, who we expect to see quite a bit of today. Coach has said that just basically playing until he can't play anymore. Matkin under pressure, sails it, passes, picked off. Reggie Miles with his first interception of the season. Big down here for Zal. Needs to sit back in the pocket, have confidence, find one of his wideouts. He does. It's Sam Collins breaks a tackle, picks up the first down. As Alabama sets up shot at the 28, first and 10. Here's Antonio Beard. He takes it to the 26-yard line. Well, Winnie makes the tackle for the Bulldogs. After the play, dead ball, personal foul on the offense. After the penalty, it'd be second down. But I'd have to say he's doubtful at this moment. All right, Charles. In the meantime, Andrews out, fires over the middle, and there is a flag. Sean Birdsong. Sam Collins was the intended receiver, and Birdsong was just hanging on him right as they approached the 20-yard line. So first and 10 for the tie. Here's Antonio Beard with a huge hole. Beard inside the 10, down to the 6-yard line. Hagan brings him down. Alabama has been very efficient in the red zone this year. They've scored 93% of the time. Here's Beard. And that percentage will go up. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. And some confidence for that Alabama secondary yeah. that uh, needs it, to say the least. Jared Cook to punt it away. It's a high spiral taken by Carter at the 16. Antonio with some room flag down as Carter brings it out to the 35. Holding by the defense. Penalty B from the spot of the foul, 10 yards, first down. A good day could push him to number one in all categories, Dave. We'll keep an eye on that, absolutely. We'll also keep an eye on Ahmad Galloway running straight ahead. Stevens again meets him for the tackle, but not before Ahmad gets close to the first down. First in 10, a couple of tight ends. Zal hands it off to his fullback. That's Donnie Lau. 250 pound sophomore. Oh, he had to reset. You see what Zal did there? He had two men moving. He had to reset them. Great play. That was outstanding. What happened that time? They had two men in motion, and Zal just took the time to set them down and just call the play. Coach said, We can't do that in the Southeastern Conference and expect to win, and he can't have pass interference penalties thrown against you. Every snap almost, or what it seemed to be like, most of the snaps. He 
Might be a little rusty, but there's a nice throw to the Bulldog 40. First down, Alabama. Carter on the receiving end. First and 15 as the ball rests on the 45. We lay it hand off. Santonio Beard with another big hole. Off tackle. First down, Alabama to the 23 of Mississippi State. You see everybody scrambling for it, but the ground cannot cause a fumble. Pass is caught. It's Collins. Bounces off one tackler. Down to the 16. Alabama decides not to go for it on fourth and one. They bring in Neil Thomas. And they run a fake field goal, and he drops it. Ball is loose at the 10. Picked up by Mississippi State. Out to the 25-yard line. So the razzle-dazzle fizzled. And it appeared that way when he walked out of the locker room. And Tyler Watts did pretty good hobble. Plenty of running room. Dante Walker, first down. Well, that was a real problem for Alabama last week. Missed tackles. Here's Walker again. Gets about 10 on that carry. Bolden brings him down. <laughs> oh, Charles, Charles. Nice skip on from Walker, and he's got room down the right side. Flag is down, and Walker is run out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Holding on the offense. Penalties 10 yards will be assessed from the spot of the foul. Repeat second down. Leads the team with nine quarterback hurries, but he'll stand on the sidelines for this third down and two play. Miller to the outside. First down, Mississippi State. At least make a first down. Ninth play of this drive is a little quarterback draw. Madkin takes it to about the 16th. Thurman Ward on the spot for the tie defensively. One third down conversion today for Mississippi State. Quarterback Keeper Madkin inside the 15 to the 14 and a half, and that is plenty for the first down. From Alabama, I know I've got to get pressure on him. I'm coming with the heat. Madkin, big loss back outside the 40. Bulldogs will punt it away. It's a high spiral. That will be down at the five-yard line. So Jared Cook with a brilliant punt. So different philosophy here than what we expected. Was out under center. That pass is caught by Carter. Out over the 20 to the 23-yard line. Birdsong on the coverage and the tackle. Galloway, the tailback, but they'll throw it again. That pass wow. caught. Wow, what a catch oh. from Sam Collins. Wow. Man, he had to catch that thing on the back end of the football. They still average about the same number of points allowed as they did a year ago. Big run by Galloway. Down at the 32, tackled by Corey Banks. Dante Ellington, the junior, trying to work his way back into that group. Here's Beard again. Antonio, the sophomore from Nashville, down to the 20-yard line. When you're in the secondary, they can set up blocks. Second down, seven. Zal fires. Flag down in the side. The Alabama end zone. Corey Banks on the coverage of Antonio Carter. Pass interference, defense. Penalty's 15 yards. This penalty put the ball on the two-yard line. First down. This is a 20-yarder. It is up, and it is good. So Alabama had it first and goal. They managed three, lead it 10 to nothing. Back after a word from your local stations. Alabama still able to get the field goal for Neil Thomas, a 20-yarder. 12 plate, 91-yard drive results in three points. Here's Pitt Prather, and he steps out at the 50-yard line. You bring in a new quarterback, it's just something new. Who knows, maybe you can find one of his wideouts that'll catch the ball because they sure dropped him. See the arm strength from Fan. The numbers on Wayne Madden. 
The quarterback sneak will get the first down for Mississippi State. 122 as the clock stops for the movement of the first down chains. Can't make a mistake here. Fans pass is caught. Clarence Parker brought down by Charles Jones. With Fant, they're running little curls at 10, 12 yards, drilling it to him. Flag down again. Pass is caught by the receiver, Harold Lindsey. Fant's pass is caught by Miller. Miller breaks a couple of tackles. Touchdown, Mississippi State. John Michael Marlin will kick it off for the Bulldogs. McCadley and Luke back to return the kick. It's a little pooch kick. Dropped by McCadley. Who's got it? Enemy oh. Mississippi State football. After the play, there's a personal foul on the kicking team. Oh. First down after the 15-yard penalty. And Dave, they have two timeouts left, so they've got a lot of time. Another flag down. Goodness gracious. Fans pass is complete. Terrell Grendel with his first reception of the day. Sparky Woods has made his way from the coach's box down to the sidelines for this last drive. I don't think he expected to have the football at this point. Fans pass is caught. And that should be good enough for a first down, I believe. But he's 5 of 10 overall, as long being 53 or 43. This is a 50-yarder. It is a line drive that could hurt somebody. Get out of the way. Well, Mississippi State had an opportunity to really do some damage in the final couple of minutes of the second quarter, but Alabama held on, and they hold on to the lead 10-7 as we have completed the first two quarters of play from Bryant Denny Stadium on a beautiful fall day in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Jared Cook. This time it's an excellent kick. Carter goes back to his 22-yard line. Makes a man miss, trying to get to the outside. That's about where they would have started before. Wayne Beard comes on. To punt, Richard Ball back to return the kick. Ball has some room to the outside. Flags down everywhere. Illegal block in the back on the receiving team. Penalties 10 yards from the spot of the foul. First down. Kevin Fant at quarterback replacing Wayne Madkin. The eye formation. Jenkins in motion. A little play action. Wide open is the tight end. Donald Lee first down out over the 30 to the 32 yard line. Wayne Matkin will graduate. Fant under pressure, steps up, fires, passes caught. He can make amends here. A lot of football left. Walker with a big hole off guard. His father just retired from the military. Here's Walker. Nice stiff arm. That'll be a first down, and he's pushed out of bounds. Second down and 10. Here's a quick hitter to Jenkins. Jenkins gets a block, and then he gets whacked. Shot of the first down by about four yards. John Mark Michael Marlin to attempt a 43-yarder to tie the game up. The kick is away. It hooks inside the right upright, and it is good. First and 10, Andrew Zhao. Still in at quarterback. Zhao gets some good protection, but then scrambles and will pick up a first down. Who says Andrew Zhao can't run? And then he gets decked over there in the Mississippi State bench. He's down. Look at him. He's not getting up. Zhao under pressure. Oh, does he get hit hard at the 35-yard line? Yeah, nowhere to go. He just gets stuck, dude. Fair catch called at the 20 by Richard Ball. And 
Eight men at the line of scrimmage for Alabama's defense. They swing it out to DeCenzo Miller. DeCenzo out over the 40. First down, Mississippi State. Miles with the tackle. Four-man rush from Alabama is good enough as they force Fant to unload it early, but a flag is down. It appears pass interference will come against the Alabama secondary. He's the man on the left of your screen, the offensive coordinator for the Bulldogs. Fant with a little rollout. Has his man wide open to fullback Darnell Jones. The redshirt freshman out of Greenwood, Mississippi. A first down picked up by the Bulldogs. <laughs> yeah, that's about what it sounds like. <laughs> You're right, partner. Here's Grendel, makes a man miss. Grendel, did he get the first down? I think he did. Lock it, lock it. To the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. In the shotgun. Will play fake fires to the far side pass is caught by Carter and he gets run out of bounds he had first down distance they just have been totally stymied he's not getting any yards Here's punt. not very good and then it takes a bulldog bounce it will be downed inside Alabama territory at the 45 Motion goes Antonio Hargrove, redshirt freshman. Pressure came from Brooks Daniels. The crowd wants a grounding call, and they get it. <laughs> Come on, we've seen enough flags, Kevin, today. Give us a break. Yeah. End over end, wobbly punt. Carter. Carter hates to let the ball go. He's a guy who just wants it. Move the chains, get some first downs. Zal's pass is complete. First down, Crimson Tide. That goes to McCadley. Big Prather finally wrestles him to the ground. Now he's a big time player, Dorset Davis. Zal has Collins. Zal threw that with both feet planted on the ground. That was pure arm strength. First down, Crimson Tide. Moves a little closer to that yardage total. Millens breaks free. Freddie Millens dancing, turning down to the 10-yard line. He touches the football. He can turn it into six in no time at all. Zap looking for Lau, the fullback. Touchdown, Alabama! <laughs> Jared Cook, the redshirt freshman, to punt it away. Oh, oh. And shanks it oh. right into his own bench. The ball hit the Gatorade table near the stands at the 50. How can the ball be marked at the 48? <laughs> I agree with you. I was stunned when I saw it. I just could not believe they marked it back inside the 50. Why our cameramen? Our cameramen are sharp. Look at Donnie Lau. Six carries, 26 yards for Donnie Lau today. Here's Antonio Beard. Antonio stops. Falls forward inside the 35. First down and a lot more. Brought down at the 22 by Dorset Davis. He got hit hard, but Andrew will take the first down. And let's hope that's not the same problem we just saw him with as he left the field. A lot of room for Santonio Beard on the near side. He gets it to the 14. That'll be about three yards shy of the first down. There's Zal running the option. Santonio Beard. Touchdown, Alabama! Well, he's going for the football. Jared Cook, who shanked his last punt. 
Carter has a chance to return this one. Not very far. On the return, personal foul, face mask on the defense. And it was 15 yards and the end of the run. First down. He sat down on the bench, picked up the telephone to talk to the coaches up in the booth here, and he sat all alone. And Coach Franchoni said, wait a minute, I got something to say to him also. Oh, wow, look at this kick. The second kick today that Alabama will down inside the five. And a big hit from Reggie Miles on Clarence Parker. Second down, about four yards to go. You've got a lot of time, two minutes. Just take your time. Grendel. First down, Mississippi State. Bolden runs him out of bounds. Mississippi State facing a fourth down and seven. This will be the ball game. I've seen a lot of pro football players that didn't play as well as he did. He's got speed, he's got, he's got that instinct for the football, he comes up and he sticks you. Alabama will win the football game. Next week, it's the Iron Bowl versus Auburn. Then they'll travel to Birmingham to wrap up their season against Southern Mississippi on the 29th of November. But Dennis Franchoni pulls his team to Four and five and three and four in SEC play. Mississippi State falls to two and six. One and five in league play. And a big win for the Crimson Tide and their faithful fans over their neighbors to the west.